Hi, this is Katie from Hooks and Coco, and this is the tutorial for my Featherstone cardigan. Uh, you will need a bulky five weight in your 11, your US 11 um, knitting needles. So I'm just going to teach you how to do the cable right here. So what you'll need, I'll, I'll link everything below and the pattern as well. Um, you'll need your cable needle. And then let's get started on the project. So I'm going to go ahead and work the purl stitches. If you have the pattern, you'll see exactly what I mean. And, but I just did a couple right here for sake of the tutorial. And so what I do when I get to the cable section, so it's going to be all knit and I'm going to teach you how to do the first part of it. You're going to slip three stitches onto your cable needle. So one, two, three. And then what you're going to do, so it says C6B, so you're going to hold that cable needle back. So it's going to be back behind everything. And then you're going to knit the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then I like to pull my needle out a little bit so I don't drop any stitches. <laughs> Oops. So now you're going to take your cable needle and you're going to knit the three stitches that are on the cable needle. One, two, three. Okay, let's find the needle. So now we're on to the next cable section. So it's kind of created that cross right there. So you, again, you're going to slip three stitches onto your cable needle. Three. And now you're going to hold that in front. And it's going to get all twisty to be like there's no getting around that. So we'll go ahead and knit three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, and again, I like to pull my needle up so it doesn't drop any stitches. And then you'll go back to what and work the knit stitches on the cable needle. So one, two, three. And then you'll go ahead and work the purl sections on the pattern. All right, so you have that twisty from the cable. So now what you're going to do is, in order to get that stock and neck stitch, we're gonna work knitting sorry, knit stitches up until the cable section. Um, and in the pattern it says place cable markers, just, or sorry, stitch markers, <laughs> so you know where you're at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and purl the next 12 stitches. So I'm working on that cable part and I'm just gonna purl like normal. There is gonna be a bit of a wide space when you're working on the stitches in between the cables. Uh, but they kind of even out as you continue to work these stitches or these rows. All right, and then we'll work on the other row. So you're going to purl until your cable section. And then you're just going to knit the next 12 stitches.
and then you'll work your purl section. And then you're going to go back and just work that um, the knit, purl, knit <laughs> row. And then you'll continue to just work those last two rows until there are um, seven stitches in between. I think I made my cable on this one a little short, but that's how it looks. And then it gives you that gorgeous cable, um, the, the kind of V-shape. Thanks. Bye.